Coming to the slot. Turns it away. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Some pushing and shoving here heating up. Yeah, the few words. Here we go. James, I was really good at this. Not the fight part. I mean the first part where someone else comes in and fights for you. <laughs> Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. Oh, he was looking for it there. I, I think he's just frustrated. It's been a long night, and he was looking for a dance partner. I think they found the tooth that was lost, and both teams now back inside the faceoff circle. Sault Ste. Marie's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Can't find his man. And the horn sounds to stop the bleeding, at least for a few minutes anyway. Fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third. set to go. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Greyhounds scores! Is that momentum screaming now? Well, he's whispering. If they can get another one, he'll start to scream here. He doesn't need too many chances to score. That's one of the reasons he leads his team in goals. He's got a great finish when he gets the opportunity. Sault Ste. Marie's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives him a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. The Rangers have it against the wall. There's the whistle icing the call. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. The Greyhounds are down a pair. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. He had to dig in there after the icing call. Players get tired, but you win the draw, you can get out of the zone. Here's the pass. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Kitchener's turn good defense into good offense as they lead it early in this third period. Sault Ste. Marie's got a hold of the puck. The Greyhounds move it ahead. Pokes it away in his own end. Sault Ste. Marie's going to play it from the corner. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Kitchener's across the blue line. Hangs onto the puck. Stays with it. Denies him on the play. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Takes it across the blue line. The Rangers played along the boards. Just slide to the net. And now he angles it across to Langdon. What a steal in his own end. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Kitchener's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Scoops up the puck now. Nice zone entry from the left. 
The Greyhounds play it along the wing. Strong defensive effort. Takes a shot. Makes the save. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Here's a chance. Big save by the goaltender. Taylor's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, the Rangers are up 3-1. The Greyhounds win it in the defensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Sault Ste. Marie's got a hold of it along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Penalty coming up. Quick whistle stops the play. A little too close along the wall, and boarding is the call as a result. Yeah, I think he's already started to commit to the hit. Yep. Once you see the player's numbers, James, you got to lighten up. You can't run them into the boards. It's a dangerous play. The right call on the ice. The Greyhounds get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. And so they'll get their first power play of the evening. At the very least, you want to make sure you get pucks to the net, win some puck battles so you retrieve the puck. You just do not want on your first power play to have a poor one because that can leak into subsequent power plays as the game goes on. Swing and a miss. Sault Ste. Marie's got control of it now from their own end. Takes the feed. Sault Ste. Marie's got it along the wall. Here he is from the slot. No room for that one to get through. Mackey's working it around in the corner. And they can't connect. Here's an offensive chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. Oh, smart heads up, Reed. Puck dumped in. Kitchener's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Here they come up along the wing. Centering pass! Big save! Kitchener's on the attack. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Sault Ste. Marie's got it in their own zone. Through center along the wing. Nice dish from the left wing. Sends it over. With the stop. Kitchener's got possession while undermanned. Taken down and the officials caught it. Whistle blows the play dead. Goaltender can't even get out. Uh, you react, you go to get the puck and you stick your stick into the guy's feet. Down you go. Two minutes off to the box. Sault Ste. Marie's got a five on three, but not a lot of time to work with. Well, maybe you can get one chance before the five on three runs out, but this is a pretty good opportunity for them. Denied that one. Out front, can't connect. And the puck leaves the zone. Kitchener's playing it from the side. Fails to find the open man. Comes up with a stop. Taylor's gonna hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. He had to be on top of his game to make that stop. That's a great scoring chance, and he turns it aside. The Rangers have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Langdon's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Turns it away on the slap shot. Right up front, he scores! That's a short-handed marker. James, they took advantage of one little crease, and they were able to race up the ice, get themselves a short-handed marker here. He's tight to the net, he doesn't have much time, and that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. have been all 